Welcome to the Breeze Podcast, where your word of mouth is our oxygen. My name is Victor White, and I'm here with my bro. I'm the boy John McCollin here in Toronto. What's good, fam? And well, John, it's been a revelating sort of week this past yeah. week. Um, I have a lot. I have. I actually. I. This is. There's going to be some nuggets in this podcast. I feel like there's going to be some nuggets. In this <laughs> podcast, bro. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. But, but what I can say for everyone watching, I think that I'm not alone in saying that uh, John's T-shirt is. It's nice. It looks good. The the yellow on you. Oh, I appreciate good. you, bro. I gotta represent the Lakers. You can't see it. Hey. True. True. So, by the way, John. We're not in Barbados, and our boy Drake is in Barbados. What do you feel <laughs> about that? I mean, I feel no ways, bro. Like, it's Drake. Like, at this point, it's just Drake. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but everyone's freaking out. Everyone's like, oh, my gosh, he's, he's down by folks and playing basketball. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, if you, I just, if I was there, I, I wish I got a chance to be in the studio, like, last night. So I'm, like, take yeah. a pic. He's, like, in the studio. Yeah. That would be cool. But it's just Drake, man. Like, yeah, what studio do you think he's at? Yo, it looked like 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 a bedroom or something. Like it's a hotel room. You know what I mean? Okay, uh huh. Like, they probably he, set up a studio. Yeah, because he came with his plane. Like he doesn't have like he has a whole yeah. team. Like, like he has his, his own engineers and stuff. So like, yeah, I think he just he just brought everything and just set up in like the hotel. You know? Yeah. But, yeah. The, the the only thing He's I give it a ma- free promotion, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, hard, hard. Like okay, so, so I'm I I'm wondering a couple of things. The first thing that I want to sort out, and I think I mentioned it on the podcast before mm. we roll the intro. We're we're in a <laughs> habit of giving long intros here. Like Drake did not buy that plane. That's a sponsor no, he didn't plane buy that plane. he got nah. from like Air Cargo Canada yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. He didn't buy it. Like as that's a, just a strategic part. like partnership. Yeah, yeah. That's he, all it is. He maybe probably didn't even pay for the paint job. I I don't think plane, he paid for anything plane. on that no, plane, bro. No, 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 like no. honestly, it's just like he's probably paying for the fuel when he flies. That's probably it. Reason, but Drake is like you know? the biggest one of the biggest superstars. Yeah. Like it made sense at the time. Like there's no way, no, no one's going to buy a 747, bro. Like, you're not yeah. going to buy a Boeing. Like, well, there's a lot of people that do buy them, but I just, I just. True, but, but, but I mean, like, Andre's net worth, there's no way he's going to afford a 747. No, no, he could never afford it. But that's, and that's the thing that, that it doesn't piss me off. But it's like when he posted that plane video, it was like he bought the plane. Do you get what I mean? And yeah, but I mean, like, of, he never said he bought it, though. You know no, what I mean? no, he didn't. But he just he never, didn't. like, but he but just he, put it up for, for, what's the, what's the term? Put it up for interpretation. Yeah. And people just round with, like, oh, my gosh, he bought the plane. But, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but I guess that's the beauty of marketing, you know, like. Yeah, that is true. That say is much. true. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. It's up for interpretation. But I just feel like, like, because when I read that, it's like, I the only thing that I fear, or not that I fear, but I mean, just in terms of like, so I'm a plane geek, right? Mm. And that's my passion, like private jets, private jets and watches. Those are my two materialistic things that I care about. But but the thing is like, in terms of cost of running a plane and for like young kids that want to be successful and think that they can be a rapper and afford the 747. Do you get what I mean? Like, it, it's okay, kind guys, of skews, this uh, is kind of what's happening. Like, this is my, like, analysis of what happens. Yeah. This guy partnered with this company, this cargo company, right? Yeah. Cargo companies fly every single day, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the livery on the plane, so a livery is, like, the paint job on a plane, yeah. right? So that's just, that that never changes. That's just Drake's, like, if you're yeah. reading this, is too late, air Drake. That, that'll be yeah. on the plane. I was, like, yeah. marketing, branding yeah, on marketing, that front. Right. Yeah. But like in terms of the cargo, like you're flying, the they make money every day just flying back and forth. Like if Drake yeah. wants to use it, he'll probably just like, and what most likely they do is just switch the insides out for that for that period of time because it's so oh, easy. Oh, so to do you it. think they're using it double purpose? Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. You think so? So that 100%. the cargo company gets to use the plane. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Oh wow! I feel like they just switch the insides out because I know how easy it is to do that. Yeah, when I used to work here, that's true. It's like all on switch. rails and stuff. Yeah, 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 fuck. So I'm pretty sure they're using it. That's that makes the most sense in terms of 
like the economy of the plane mm-hmm. you know what i mean like there's yeah. no way like this guy been in in toronto yeah. like all this time you know what i mean yeah yeah so but let's roll the intro before we keep going <laughs> No, and then the other thing that I wanted to talk about. So, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, but but I, I'm wondering, like, what is it because Barbados is Corona free that Drake came to Barbados, or is it because of a certain someone he came to Barbados? Yeah, who knows, man? Like, we can speculate for days, you know. Yeah, but, like, that is it's, true. There's good press for Barbados. Not go for That is true. That is true. Oh, so big ups, big ups, Drake for uh, for blessing up the island and getting it's the true. tourists started. Like start, like think about like the the, the timeline of the, the rollouts of the information. So you had like yeah. me and Molly saying, "Yo, come through. You yeah. live here for a year, mm-hmm. and like we're doing remote work from Barbados." All right, boom. Mm-hmm. Then Drake comes through. Boom. All right. Mm. Now it's like, oh, Drake's in Barbados. Maybe I could go and try to. What if he got paid? to come through mm. you know what i mean like i mean no, you can speculate for days so rihanna she got the excellence honor whatever ambassador some flashy title maybe she told drake like yo pop over um it's some good pr you know well, is rihanna even in barbados do we know that? i don't i don't i don't think so who knows why like we could speculate for days like yeah yeah. But shout out to Drake. Shout yeah. out to Drake for a blessing that coming through. Yeah, yeah. Even um, though we're not there. Yeah. So, John, please tell me about your week. Yo, my week's been pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Like, okay, interesting. I'm working on this top secret project. Can't talk about it on the podcast. Okay. Top okay. secret project. So I've been like trying to teach myself how to uh, do UI UX design. Like, okay on, on the mobile front okay i did some crazy stuff like some i'll show you after like i'm okay. doing some stuff like crazy crazy yeah. top secret crazy stuff so that's what wait, wait, most so of my week music does it have to do with music or it has it... to do with music it has to do with music okay yeah. okay but um you know, the race, house yeah you know, we're, we're, we're out here we're out here so like yeah, I mean, like writing songs every day is still a thing, but I was I had to had to start learning this just because a lot of stuff, you know what I mean, yeah. about to start popping off. Yeah, and yeah, I, I went to IKEA for the first time this uh-huh. weekend. Uh-huh. Built something. Yeah, I built like a desk. Yeah, um, that's always nice to. Yeah, feel I've only happy. been to IKEA on the website, bro. Like, I'm, yeah. like this is my first time actually going in the store. Yeah. I didn't realize how great it was. I was like, mm-hmm. and everything's in Swedish. So shout out to mm-hmm. Sweden. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish names but, uh, and stuff, yeah. Yeah, bro. Even on the inside, you're like, head, I, I don't know. Hedvig. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, that was my week. I just really was, like, on the desk, just, like, doing, like, coding and, like, writing songs. Uh-huh. That was it, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. What about you? Um, so, John, have you ever felt the weight of life on your shoulder Mm -hmm. how much do you know about buddhism not much but yeah so buddha said that life is suffering okay Mm -hmm. and uh, have you ever felt the when i talk about the weight the suffering from being alive that is more of a burden than a pleasure have you ever felt that Mm, I can't say. I can't say that. Okay. I can't say I have. Because <laughs> I have felt it. Uh, and that's partly because of who I am and uh, my my path that I'm choosing to follow, right? Mm. Um, and uh, so with, with me getting into Stockholm, the Stockholm School of Economics and stuff, uh, a lot of things are now realizing like that I, that I put out into the into yeah. the universe but the reason why I why I brought up the the weight of life is because like isn't it weird how how we live for this short period of time and I I I personally feel 
that it's like what Elon Musk says, like with his space program, that's something that gets him excited to be human and excited to be alive. Yeah. That same thing excites me. Like I get, I get, I get kind of sick from seeing over uh, what's it called when you use and buy products and just left and right cheap goods, whatever you're just using mm. stuff. Right. I don't like that at all. Like I, I personally speaking, I'm on a journey to towards less. Like uh, I'm not going to become a minimalist, but mm. I'm going to like my wardrobe is going to have selected pieces of clothing that I feel comfortable in and that I'll use that I, you know, and not like, you know, everything but, just cause yeah and by the way have you heard of nudie jeans mm. so it's a swedish jeans company and they give you free repairs for the life as really? lifetime free j- repairs and they have this super solid n u d i e like you send the nude but it's nudie n u d i e so they're a bit on the more expensive side, but they look super good. And they're for sustainability. They published these six sustainability reports. The, the, the company was founded by a woman who was the European chief designer for Lee jeans in Europe, right? Mm. Um, but the reason why I've come into this train, train of thoughts is because the fact that I'm now going to Stockholm School of Economics and that they're actually shaping the leaders of the future, you know? Um, it, it all kind of realized when I read the, the SSE educational mission that mm-hmm. you get on, on, on the email when you get accepted. And you have to sign a student pledge. Did you have to do that for Ivy? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm obviously I'm not gonna spoil everything for people that might get get in in the future, etc. <laughs> but it was kind of eye opening when I read this. So it says the Stockholm School of Economics educational mission is based on the view that the decision makers of tomorrow will approach the world with curiosity and confidence. In terms of processing cap- capacity, future desis- decision makers will often be outperformed by artificial intelligence, robots, and machines. However, human beings' core competence is being human, and SSE's learning objectives or educational mission respects this. The decision makers of the future will be those who make use of their human potential. Accordingly, SSE has formulated its educational mission with the abbreviation FREE, which stands for, yeah. So, and then it, it stands for actually like really decent uh, and animation, amazing um, uh, things, the, the abbreviation FREE. So what it mm. stands for is the following. I'm not gonna read like it, it, they specify but it's it's essentially fact and science-based mindset, reflective and uh, self-aware, empathic and culturally literate, entrepreneurial and responsible. So I like, you know, and I read this and I just get more and more hyped, obviously. It's like, it's, (laughs) It's just insane. That They're framing dreams, you, bro. Yeah, that this dream is coming true, you know? And I'm like, whoa. Um, no, but that, and that got me thinking, like, because one of the things that I think is like, like for someone like me, who's, you know, when you work yourself up, and, and Gary V said this when he was at Brilliant Minds, um, that talk when, when we got to have him on the podcast, mm. he said that, like, if you've tasted dirt yourself, you have no interest in letting your kids taste dirt, right? And the thing is, like, if you were in a, in a position of, of power of some sort or at a high position in, you know, the corporate life, and you, you're, you have the responsibility of thousands of jobs, right? That's thousands yeah. of people that essentially depend on you and your decision making. So, so I, when, when that set in, I got kind of a heavy feeling and it, may, it makes sense why these CEOs are paid so much that they are because 
like most people, and I witnessed this multiple times where you'll complain about your boss and whatever, whatever, whatever. But when you're in the same position as your boss, you have all this responsibility and it's a completely different world because as an employee, you're just an employee, right? It's yeah. just like, you know, um, and that got me thinking of like, what experiences do I have about this? And it's especially after reading SSE's educational um, mission statement, right? And I realized that I have actually been in charge of other people. So my filmer, Albin, and the thing that was interesting to me was the human aspect. So to me, that means as an example, when Albin came with me to Park City in the US, mm -hmm. right? So I pay for everything. It's expensive to bring him, right? And like, and that's, you know, but it costs to have a filmer with you and all that stuff. Yeah. And the first, and we were, we were, we were, we we're going to produce these, like the sickest vlogs ever during the World Ski Championships. Like, whoa. And after skiing, like a couple of runs, I'm like in the chairlift. I'm like, I'm in. Let's put down the, the chairlift, uh, the, the camera, like we're in Park City, like let's just ski and enjoy this. Like it's not every day you're in Park City, Utah skiing. So we, we put, put it down and the first run he takes without the camera, he breaks his collarbone, right? Yeah. Do you think I thought of the fact that it was the first day and I spent all this money for him to come along? No. Nah. You know? No, it didn't even cross my mind. Like what crossed my mind was like taking care of Albin, making sure he was set and like calling his parents and, you know, sorting out like his, his insurance stuff, you know, making sure everything is good. Right. Yeah. So that to me is like the human aspect, right. That it, instead of, because some people like, it wouldn't surprise me if they would be like, Oh, I paid for you to come and you go and injure yourself which anyone could do, <laughs> you know, anyone could injure yourself easily, right? But yeah. I, just, I just think that, that, that the hum, as, uh, like they write in the, in the educational mission statement, I, I think that the human aspect is really important. Yeah, definitely. I feel like if you're leading any organization, yeah. I mean, a lot of organizations that we see today, like they're not human focused, you know what I mean? They don't, yeah. they just care about the bottom line, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's where you got a lot of startups and that come up yeah. and they're like, they focus on teamwork. They have like yeah. algorithms that are based on like people working together yeah. and stuff like that. But like yeah. the reality, sad reality is that like most of these like large Fortune 500 companies, yeah, like they don't care. You know what I mean? No. They, they, they just, okay, you're out. All right, switch you out. Yeah. Cause you're just like a number to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Which is sad, but yeah. But that's also why you... It's also an advantage for like anyone else coming up. And you got to know what game you're playing, right? You always 100%. have to know what game you're playing. So it's like, it's like with you and starting to work at IBM, you know? It's the same thing there. You know you're a piece of the pond. Uh, wherever yeah. I go, I'm going to be a piece of uh, And you also, pond. like, I've been, pr I've been, like, preaching from day one, like, from first time I ever got a job, I was like, you can't yeah. be loyal to, like, any organization. You know yeah. I mean? You have to yeah. be loyal to yourself. Because, yeah. like, yeah. any organization could drop you tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I know people, like, they, they go, they, they work their ass off. They're like, mm -hmm. like they're just like they're there seven o'clock they leave yeah. 7 p.m and it's like yeah. thinking that this is gonna make a, a difference in like their trajectory yeah. in life yeah but then like when shit is a fan it's like you're probably yeah. the first man to go you know what i mean yeah. so like yeah. you can't be yeah. loyal to no organization for real yeah i think i think it depends on what organization it is because to me like to me the value of like you go into work for IBM, it's the people there. Do you get what correct, I mean? Correct, correct. So you want to be loyal to the people more so than the organization as a whole. Which yeah. is probably well, the people, most like, likely the people that you're going to do deals with in the future. Yeah, the people are people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people forget that that's, that's all they are. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they are not the company. Like, you know, like yeah. the company and the people are too late. Like, yeah. They're separate. You know what yeah. I mean? So. I mean, in some cases, you got to be loyal. If you're going to work at a startup, then, like, you can't yeah. go just, like, effing yeah. off every single time you just want to yeah. do that because then, like, you probably yeah. 
the site that, probably crumble. But in terms of like these large organizations, be that like they're you, blessed. Yeah. Nah. But you you also gotta 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 realize like it's it's leadership responsibility to make sure that these things are well oiled, right? So if True. there's bad leadership, like you know, and, and um, but but that it, it'll be. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I, did did you have to sign the NDA with uh, IBM? Uh nah. Okay. Well, probably not yet. I'll probably have to do it. Is thing. it that's it might be on a client basis because what what I was gonna say is like I I'm so you know I'm I'm horny for Shamat Palihapitiya, right? Our boy. <laughs> <laughs> but he really dislikes IBM. He thinks mm. people have run down IBM hard. And that's why I, I, I'm hyped for you going there to get the inside look, you know? We have the oh. inside look. I know the people. Like, yeah. that's all I'm trying to get, bro. You know yes, I mean? yes, 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 yes. But the thing is, obviously, like, we're not stupid. Like, we're not going to talk bad <laughs> about your, your employer, you know? True that. Uh, but, but it's just, I just think it's healthy to have oppo- opposing views and like entertain them and have a discussion around them that we so often have on this podcast. Hundred percent. So we've been doing this. Yeah. We've been doing this, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, what do you eat, man? Uh, you know, Stockholm School of Economics. They like retweeted my. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Before we get into shop stuff, I just yeah. want to say that's another <laughs> dream that's come true. Like my that's reputation wild. precedes me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How insane! Yeah, that's that, sick. Bro. That's sick. That's sick. Oh, that's sick. It'd be like, yeah, I don't even dare to think who saw that. <laughs> like you know, all the powerful, majestic people, beautiful, so amazing, true. future true. employers of mine. <laughs> Anyhow, should we get into chopped up? Let's get into it, man. What do we have to talk about? Oh, we have something juicy, bro. What do you got? So, what do we have on Quibi? Oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Quibi, bro. Quibi, Quibi, Quibi. Have you ever used it? No, no, no. I have never used it. I haven't had no interest in using it. What? But, okay. It's, yeah, no, no. So for people that don't know, Quibi was this short form, essentially content thing, like in between Netflix and TikTok, essentially, was yeah. how it was positioned. And you pay a subscription fee and it's supposed to be like nice short bites. Um, and <laughs> I, if I remember correctly, we both were really bearish on Quibi. We we're like, who the frick would use it? Yeah, yeah. Right? Correct. I don't I don't remember what the yeah, episode, yeah, yeah. We, but, but I, feel, I don't remember, but it's in there somewhere. Just go yeah, over. yeah. If you're an OG, you'll know. Anyhow, so in in, in the morning <laughs> brew comes out like it's a Dude. it's a it's a they raised one point eight billion dollars for for Quibi and they spent up to a hundred thousand dollars a minute for their content featuring talents such as Chrissy Teigen, Chance the Rapper, Anna Kendrick. However, it's like the, the Morning Brew said that they're going to write case studies about it yeah. at Harvard <laughs> because it's such a disaster. It's a disaster, bro, honestly. I mean, like, it's a perfect example of a, yeah. organ- of a company not looking at the market that they're going into and understanding it. No, you know do, I mean? do you know what it is? What? It's exactly what Gary Vee talks about. It's a perfect example of these people trying to f- create another financial arbitrage machine that they just pump money into because of all the money in the system. I feel that. But I mean, like, even if you, even if you try to create one of those, I mean, you should understand the market you're going into. Like, understand your competitors. Like, yeah. there's no reason why if you have Quibi, you can't, you can't cast on your television. You can't like like there's is a they're like okay we want to do it on the phone. Let's only yeah. have it on the phone and it's gonna yeah. be upright. Like there's so like and the content is is even that good. You can't yeah. compete on net on on a Netflix yeah. level where Netflix yeah 
Netflix is basically the culture when it comes to like dropping shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Lion, like they, they talked about it in the article. Yeah. Like, the Lion, the, not Lion King, Tiger King. Yeah. Like, when, when Netflix drops a show, bro, it's yeah. like their memes for days. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. Quibi coming in here, trying to, trying to acquire customers, especially in COVID times where you can't shoot new content. No. Where Netflix has a whole bot list of content, uh-huh. a bot log of content where you can yeah. just keep dropping and dropping. Uh-huh. These guys investing heavily in content that is not. No, but it's stupid. Let's just say it right up, John. It's a stupid idea. Yo, why? We said it. Why? We said this. Why? Why would you want to watch like one minute? or five minutes content like yo we said shows. this bro like we you, said you this don't, you don't build an emotional bond we said, the there's no to plot show whatever there's no plot there's like <laughs> nothing there and that's why that's why it's just an example of like too much money in the system someone trying to build another financial arbitrage machine like yo, do, we said do you get this, what bro. i mean i feel we, you i mean we we were early on this we were super early in being bearish on i mean the, it's not like it's not rocket science, bro. I mean, look at it's not I mean, a look at this science. stuff. It's not like okay, I'm not gonna buy that. But that's also the that. thing. Like these VCs and stuff that fund these things are so detached from reality that it's insane. Correct. And bro, I hope that I'm never gonna be that detached from reality. Like they live on another planet, honestly, <laughs> sometimes when they fund these things. Like 1.8 billion, like a yeah, hundred thousand dollars a minute for that's the wild. content. Like that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like that's <laughs> that's like oof. Uh, that made no sense to me, bro. That's just like cancel. Boom. <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> um yeah so i listened but to, i'm glad that we were early yeah we, we were early on that uh-huh we didn't invest in it thank god yeah 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 yeah, yeah. jesus holy right. but uh, anyhow john um um i don't know so i listened to uh the one of the founders of uh, clara nice a swedish fintech uh okay. startup um john by the way by the way i i was a bit confounded when i listened to his because every summer this swedish radio show they have people that Mm. talk and like inspirational well-established swedish people right and uh but but the thing is what's a unicorn for you john what's a unicorn that by definition yeah there's a company that's value over a billion dollars within three years right no yeah yeah right yeah yeah so he was saying that they were a unicorn. And I was like, wait, isn't a unicorn if it's valued a billion dollars within three years? So I was like, hmm, that's weird. Um, so that was one thing that I thought was weird, like claiming that, that, that they are, uh, I don't know, I don't have the facts. I might, maybe they were valued at a billion dollars within mm-hmm. three years. I just know recently they, they've gotten a lot of hype, Clarina. For, for what they're doing like what do they do what do they do so they take on the risk and they they handle e-commerce essentially so they have their own checkout right so they're like stripe yeah in the US. yeah 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 but stripe is yeah Florida <laughs> uh, is like tiny compared to stripe uh, isn't stripe like a, like a 60 billion dollar thing they're ridiculous huge. yeah no, but so the interesting thing when I listened to it was that at one point, I don't recommend people to go and listen to it because I did not, I wasn't impressed by what I heard. But mm. the, the thing that, that, that got my attention was when he said, when I became a, a Swedish crown billionaire, um, the commercial in my mailbox was changed from like food coupons on local stores to private yachts and stuff like that. <laughs> and the crazy thing is like my, my commercial on social media now, I, after I got into Stockholm School of Economics, is uh, like Carnegie Investment Fund, like Avanza Investment. It's so mm. weird, bro. <laughs> so weird. Like, and diving deeper into that is like, I've been talking about this with my girlfriend, but guys, you have to be mindful about what you consume because ads are something that, that gets pushed up on you. Oh, 100%. But, 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 but from a content standpoint as well, like you have to be mindful. 
That's fine. Like we we have good intention. Like our listeners, you guys, you know that we we have your best interests at heart. Like and we want to provide you with entertainment and information and like help you in your life, right? Right. But some people like it's just like it might be from an angle of jealousy, it might just you know. Yeah, bro, it's weird. I mean, have have you ever used Google Takeout? Uh, is that when you get all your information? Yeah, to see like how they like it'll be interesting to see like what it was before you yeah. got accepted to what it is now. They probably added True. some more stuff. Yeah. That's probably where you begin. I think it's interested. Anyone who's like interested yeah. in understanding what data Google has on you. Yeah. Google takeout for sure. I mistakenly downloaded my data from YouTube and it was like eighty seven <laughs> pages or something. Like it was it was it was Yeah, insane. it's hectic. Like, I feel they do that just to, just to like, bury you in information so that yeah. they, you don't understand, like, what's yeah. happening, you know what I mean? But, but I'm, I'm, I'm 99% sure they use your location data to pair with oh, 100%. commercials and stuff. 100%. You know? That, that only makes sense. Yeah. Like, every, all, all of your data, like, that's why I've said this before, like, the McAfee guy. He said it mm. like if whatever you ever entered on the internet is public it's information. There. It's there. Yeah. It's there. It doesn't matter. No yeah. matter who you are, you could be a celebrity, you could be a billionaire. Yeah. Like if you like enter your email address into like any field, yeah, it's passwords, there. You whatever. Know what I mean? what, yeah. It's over. Yeah. That's and that's crazy. Yeah. I had something more for shocked up, but it slipped my mind now. That's something else. It's my concussions, yeah. <laughs> um oh i have something yeah uh, revolut like i have a question for you yeah respect to revolut yeah so these guys like the waiting list has been remember we had the this whole i think over a couple episodes yeah a couple months ago we talked about revolut getting on yeah. the waiting list got me on the waiting list yeah got on the waiting list yeah. now it's like yo i was bumped up to the top after because yeah. I, I referred some friends and stuff yeah yeah bumped me up to the top and then I get into the app finally. Yeah. You're like, and you send me like yeah. five crown, like what do you yeah. call it? Crowns? Yeah, crowns? yeah, yeah, crowns. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm trying to verify my account. So normally, like, if yeah. like a normal other bank, I just uh-huh. sending my like information, like take yeah, a, like, like a, a picture of your ID card or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, yo, we can't do this because uh, you're not Canadian. I was like, bro. Oh, I'm, you need a I'm Canadian like, form of ID. I'm like a citizen of Canada. You know what I mean? I'm not a citizen. I'm like a resident of Canada. Yeah, a resident. Like, I have like all my information. Yeah. So then I was like, forget this, man. I'm going to just go to Coho. Yeah. I went to Coho, which is like the direct competitive revolution. Yeah, yeah. Because they're, like, they're Canadian startup. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, yo, it's been so easy, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's been you, seamless. You just sip. I just like switched. Yeah. They have like a metal card, same way. Nice, have, that's nice. Uh, like six percent cash back on like. Oh premium, wow! Which is wild. Six percent. Six percent on certain things, wow. but they have like the lowest you get is two percent, like okay. on. Oh wow! It's wild. It's that's wild. good. That's good. But yeah, I was just I was fed up with my bank, bro. Like my bank, my yeah. like traditional. TD Armitage. No, what's the name? TD Bank. TD Bank. Yeah. Yeah. I was fed up with them, man. Like, they just charged me for everything. Like, nah, forget this. No, John. No, John. Get off that train. I know the Beijing. John, I know the Beijing in you likes to be comfortable (laughs) and, like, oh, I trust this legacy. I'm off it, bro. I'm off it. I'm so so comfortable. Yada, yada, yada. And then you might look a bit skeptical. No, not you, obviously. Nah, nah. But But, here's the thing, though. This is how they get you because, like, even with Revolut, Mm-hmm. People this coho buying like everything appears credit, right? Yeah. You can't build like credit if you you need like you have to be attached to some type of credit system. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if I was just isolate myself to revenue yeah. or coho, I wouldn't yeah, have like you wouldn't have a I wouldn't build store. any credit. Exactly. Ooh. So like okay. Uh, so I'm working between the two. I'm not using TD. Using yeah. Uh, Amex. Yeah. I just like going between the two. Oh, uh, you're an Amex guy, huh? Oh, right out here, bro. Whoa, right out here. <laughs> you, you truly love to give away money, then. Yeah, huh? no, nah, no, nah, actually, it, it makes sense. Like, it's not like I'm not getting like a diamond card or anything, it's just like uh-huh. it's a, the least amount, but it's like for travel. 
Okay. And it's for like the the, the rewards on it is wild. Okay. Man. Okay. So, well. I'm not out here, bro. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Like I get one from work too, so. Look here, oh yeah, I I get this shit. <laughs> top position at IBM. Oh, I got American Express. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, I'm so fancy. My name is John. So you're you're the guy with the block metal card over here, standing <laughs> on mines, like just like it drops oh, earthquake yeah. happens. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, what? Oh. I, I'm so bummed I forgot what I was going to say, but uh, that's life sometimes. Happens, man. It happens. That is life sometimes. I th think that, uh, yeah. Yeah, John. Johnny boy. Giraffe. John, okay. John. Um, Yo. So, you know how we have this little <laughs> friendly competition going on, right? Uh, <laughs> Uh, where like I like I'm not gonna lie, you're in the league. Like you, you, you secure yo, a I, sick job. Like you know, I don't know you're, you're doing well for yourself. <laughs> um, like John, come on. Why do you think I, mean, I went and got a girlfriend? I'm kidding. Yo, we're in I'm two kidding. different. Yo, I feel like <laughs> we're kidding. in two different. Like yo, Babe, scratch I was that, kidding. That was a joke. That. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm sorry yeah. for you after you hang on this call, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, bro, that's the thing though. Like, how many dentists do you have in your family? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now you have one, thanks to me. So I'm hooking yo, show, you up. Show, 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 show. No, no, we're super packed. That's what they call it, John. That's what we are. What? You what and you me. We're, we're super packed, John. What's a super pack? You know, like, I've heard the term in politics. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, <laughs> but, but into, like, we're alliance, no. you know? Okay, for, like, when I think, when I hear a super pie, I think, like, that's your fat special. Yeah. Mean, like, that's super pie. <laughs> John, John, by the way, Yo. did you see my, my season finale? Did you watch it? I didn't finish it. I, I watched the, it. You did it? Oh, stab me in the heart some more. No, 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 no. I was watching it. I was on the road when I was watching okay, it. Okay. And I was that's when I was doing the IKEA thing, but I was okay. I started watching it. I didn't okay. finish it though. Okay. But but, but I didn't watch you... it on YouTube either. I was watching it on Instagram. Okay, okay. That's why. Yeah, okay. But anyhow, John, did you <laughs> see the the part with Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats? Yeah. Did you see the part where it's me mine and Alicia Keys's you know, conversation <laughs> over Swiss Beats head. Yeah, I love how, I love how, like, you had the voiceover. Right. It was, it was like, it sounded like, it was like a CNN broadcast or something. I was like, this right. guy is <laughs> And then, like, I put so many Easter eggs in that video. But, like, so, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to spoil anything. But there's Easter eggs in it my good, videos. Bro. It was, what I saw, it was sick. I'm going to go for Yeah. It. Anyhow, guys, we have to round up. We need to make sure we need to get the cricket guy on on here. We can try. Yeah, for next week. I mean, like, well, I mean, we, he, they had a game last week. Oh. Last week, and they just oh. won. So. Oh, they did. Yeah, bro. Let's so, try I mean, to get it for next week. Do they have games sick. next week? I don't know. We gonna okay. check. Yeah. Let me check. The, Quick thing. Yeah, Let's John. Send cricket. John, Yo. do you do you think we should we should do an interview with him, and like like a like a thirty minute thing, and then do our regular podcasting, and and then put that in there. Um, I mean, we could have like as, as a segment. Is that what you mean? Yeah, or or we do our regular vibe and involve him in it. Or we could do that. Like listeners, whatever you guys comment down below and let us know. That's true. Anyhow, I think they have games next week too, bro. Okay, so let's shoot for the week after that. And they have a game that the following week. <laughs> okay, but let's shoot after but that. After time. that, I think they're free for a bit. Yeah. Last yeah. time I spoke to him, he was in London. Yeah, they're um, playing. They're playing England right now. Yeah. So, thank you. For listening yeah, we appreciate you guys. I'm watching. We're out here. Oh, you guys are watching on the YouTube. Like, yeah. We appreciate you. Like, mm -hmm. We appreciate yeah. you guys. We're on. We're live. We're yeah. here. Exactly. Every week. Yeah. Are your we head are. talks? You know. Uh huh. Let's get it. Okay. 
and remember to subscribe and uh, on Spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts True. and uh, follow us on Instagram. Just go, yeah, everything. Just everything. stay stay in the loop because now you're going to get a lot of value. Like if, if you want to be financially set for life, this is when you tune in. Oh, yeah, this is where you're going to be. I, sus- gonna be. I, I suspect like... Obviously, we, we, we're obviously like sharing our portfolios like transparently, like that's a code of ethics, obviously. But it'll kind of work like we call it market making, right, John? It's true. It's when true. we drive up the stock yeah. and then sell it, then we make shit tons of money. So you got to be alone for the ride on that, too, guys. Yo, Fox, Fox. We'll show so, you guys next week. Bye. Later.